got a chance to meet a really funny guy here. He is the winner of uh, the Best of the City competition. He is Albuquerque's best comedian, according to the readers of Albuquerque, the magazine. And he's here with us today. Uh, Tataka Means here at the table. Welcome, Tataka. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Okay, be here. funny Thanks right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure leading up to this. Oh but, my gosh! Yeah, get yes. ready for some funny. Like, yeah. Ah, okay. You know we're gonna solve that for you. I'm okay. gonna take the pressure off. All right. We have a little video of your act. Uh oh. You, oh man, you don't you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. <laughs> no, we do. We want to do it. All right. Let's roll a little video of Tataka Means performing. Here you go. Good to be here, man. This came from the New Mexico State Fair. <laughs> Performed there last week. Let me tell you something about the New Mexico State Fair. Their layout is a little bit racist. <laughs> Serious. They got the they got the African American village. They got the Mexican and American village. They got the Native American village. So basically, they got the ghetto, the barrio, and the reservations. <laughs> And you can tell it's the Reds, too, because we're the only one that got dirt in our area. <laughs> the lights don't work in the restroom. <laughs> tell them, man. It's kind of like a prison yard walking around here, you know? Walking to the blacks area. You know, man. <laughs> man. Just wanted to check out y'all Jerry's curls, man. Please, <laughs> brother. <laughs> There, you gotta watch your back walking around there, man. You know, my people, you guys don't got an area there. Cause you can walk around wherever the heck you want. <laughs> don't even gotta stand in line anywhere, you know? Let's go to the Native American village. Let's go to one of those Native American tacos. Hey, there's a line, <laughs> excuse me, Indians. <laughs> the wristband. <laughs> oh, Tisaka, you are too much, man. That's Thanks. awesome. <laughs> Yeah, now, right. now, what was that comedy show? Uh, that was actually uh, at uh, Wild Horse Pass Casino in um, Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. And that's actually where I, I recorded my newest uh, CD. Is uh, It's called Hotter Than Phoenix, uh, recorded live at Wild Horse Pass Casino. And uh, yeah, that's we recorded it there, and uh, it was it was a great show, man. I performed with a group also called Forty Nine Laughs Comedy, oh. and we had about it was a sold out show, like twelve hundred people there. So oh my gosh. it was awesome, yeah, a great crowd. So <laughs> so you're kind of all over the place then, not just here in Albuquerque. Yeah, no, I uh, travel out all the time uh, just because this is my full time job. So yeah. uh, I'm traveling all the time. I, I love New Mexico crowds; are always hot. You know, we've done. Uh, some of the casinos around here yeah. and uh, everybody shows up and just, you know, has a great time. So it's, it's Do, fun. Are you, are you bigger in the Native American community or outside of it? I think, I, I, I don't know if I'm bigger in it, but uh, I got a lot of fans <laughs> there. So, I guess yeah. that's what I was wondering. Do you have yeah. a lot of... Yeah, I mean, but that's not all that comes to the show. I mean, everybody yeah. comes everybody to the show. Comes. We try to make material that everybody can relate to and, uh, you know, you want everybody to laugh, so... Yeah, you try to target, you know, hey, broad I'm a audience. white guy. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it makes me feel yeah. better. Yeah, yeah, there you go, if that means anything. It does, man. It um, does. And, and this is such an honor, honor, though, too, because there are so many comedians in oh, our yeah. state, in Albuquerque alone, and you got the best comedian in Albuquerque voted by the readers so that's amazing yeah i mean that's a that's a real honor and kind of a recognition you yeah. know just from from the people that's who it's from that voted you know i was surprised when i found out i was like oh man that many people can spell my name so <laughs> <laughs> and uh just you know there's more pressure and uh, now people have expectations now so ah were you funny uh, as a little kid I was funny looking as a little kid. You know? <laughs> I was. I had two braids and big glasses, man, and it uh, stuck out all the time. I got picked on. I got bullied a lot. Aww. But uh, maybe that was my defense mechanism was comedy. Sure. But uh, yeah, it's it's always been you know in my blood. My family's funny. You know, everybody that I hang around is funny, and you know, I don't I don't know if I'm funny, but I have oh. I have a good time. What was kind of that spark that made you decide to be a full time comedian? Uh, well, I got started actually here in New Mexico. Um, I have, I have uh, two friends that are uh, well-known comedians also, James Junes and Ernie Sosi, mm -hmm. and they invited me out to open up a show for them. And uh, once I did it, I had 25 minutes my first time, and uh, I 
had a good show and uh, just got the, the bug, I guess, ever yeah. since. Yeah, and been doing it ever since. And people laughed, so that helped. Yeah, <laughs> fortunately, yeah. I mean, it's kind of rare for a first show that people, yeah. you know, that your stuff turns out well. So I, I'm sure if I bombed out, it, that would have been it. But uh, if anybody's out there wanting to do comedy or, you know, interested in it, uh, it's, it's, uh, it, it's, you got to stick to it. I mean, mm -hmm. you're going to, yeah. it's, it's a rough road ahead, but, uh, you have to go out there and fail a few times. Definitely. Wow. Yeah. Bomb yeah. A few times. Definitely. Yeah. That's, it's inevitable. Yeah. Yeah. But once that audience gets rolling, it's, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's a real rush, isn't it? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Now you've done some acting too. Yeah. You've done a few uh, local films. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm an actor also, and I got some movies coming out in uh, January. Wow. Uh, wow. I did six, epi six episodes on Banshee for Cinemax, mm -hmm. and uh, that's going to be out in January. I'm on uh, two new shows here in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, called uh, The Late Shift, and mm -hmm. that's on NBC, and uh, Killer Women on ABC. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah that'll be so cool. So you'll be promos. all over primetime pretty yeah. soon, huh? <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, we'll see. We'll that see. Was, yeah. That's so cool. um, but yeah, it's well, awesome. Getting your foot in the door there. Definitely, definitely, yeah. And um, just thank you to uh, you know the readers and everybody that voted. I was, I was. It's a it real really surprise. You. Yeah, definitely, it's a surprise, and uh, you know it's kind of cool. So, so uh, are you a clean comedian, or do you work a little? Uh, yeah, that's, blur, a, or? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, I am a clean comedian. I perform for all ages. Oh, okay. I mean, I've I've performed in front of like uh, kindergartners to oh, really? sixth graders all the way up, and they're they're the toughest audience. I mean, oh, that's, they sit there like this. Yeah, okay. they're, they're like, impress <laughs> me now. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Entertain me. It's it's easier to go in front of you know a bar of people that are. <laughs> <laughs> they laugh at everything. Yeah, they laugh at anything. But you know, I'm a clean comedian, and I uh, try to keep the jokes for all ages, and uh, uh, perform you know anywhere and everywhere. Perform at prisons and uh, rehab oh. centers, and uh, that's okay. one of the messages you know I try to put out there along with uh, 49 laughs. Is you know we're we're sober comedians uh -huh. and uh, clean comedians trying to live a positive lifestyle and, uh, you know, just give a positive message to everybody out there. So who are, like, your biggest, influ biggest influencers? Any comedians out there that kind of helped you? Um, well, like I said, James and Ernie, my good friends, they uh, put it out there. Uh, Pax Harvey, uh, Adrian Chalpa, uh, Mainstream, I like, you know, like George Lopez. Yeah. Um, John Mulaney is really funny right now. You know, there's there's a lot of comedians out there that mm -hmm. people don't know that are like really really super funny uh, so yeah, yeah. Do, do you mind the label being an, uh, an ethnic comedian that's kind uh, no. of thrown on there I, I love it you know do you? yeah I think because you're really in a unique category yourself yeah definitely there's not too many uh, no native people that are doing comedy you yeah. know People don't think we're funny, but we're laughing all the time, you know. Well, we think you're funny yeah, here. <laughs> thanks. But I think I think it's an advantage, if anything, you know. And it's it's something different, you know, different flavor. Yeah. Different yeah. take on everything. I, I like it. So where's it going from here? You got the acting thing going. You're touring now. You you do you hope to do more of that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, um, I got a show coming up uh, next uh, week in uh, Minnesota at a Shooting Star Casino. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I hope to get some more uh, local shows around here, maybe some of the casinos or the colleges or, you know, I've done shows down in Las Cruces at, uh, at the college there and, you know, everywhere. So, yeah, hopefully uh, stay in touch with me. I'm on uh, Facebook. You gotta, you gotta like me. <laughs> so, I will. So, uh, even if you don't like me, it's okay. But uh, follow, follow the schedule, like it. Uh, I post updates on there and give away free stuff all the time. So where can us locals uh, find you? Um, we want to watch you perform around here. Well, yeah, stay in touch with me on my website. Okay. Um, Are you going to be at the Best of the City party? I hope so. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Actually, yeah, the day that's the day after I come back from the, the show in Minnesota. Okay. So I'm going to be there. I'm so we'll see you there. there. Yeah. You have a chance to meet Tatanka if you go to the Best of the City party. I think it's the 8th or... It's, yeah, 7th? 7th. 7th, I Just think. Kidding. Yeah, it's uh, no, it's the sixth of December. Oh, next okay. Friday. Sixth. Yeah, the sixth. Yes, the sixth of December. <laughs> Throw out some numbers. Everybody the seventh. Just throwing out some numbers. <laughs> I, I, I love this uh, CD. You, you, you look a little like Keanu Reeves on the cover. Oh, you, thanks. You know yeah. what? I you was know, thinking the same thing. Were you? <laughs> you going, really do. You got an interesting look. I was there, going man. for like the James Bond kind of look, you know, <laughs> the 007 kind of look. I, it, this is this is fantastic. I. I'm I'm really happy to meet you. I think you're very talented, judging by that 
short clip, and uh, I think we're going to have fun watching your career. Thanks, I really appreciate it. And I have I really this DVD as well. Yeah, there's yeah. a DVD. You know, this is to listen, and that's to watch. And they're both available on my website, uh, TatankaMeans.com, uh, and they're all available there. My tour schedule is available there. And, if you want to contact me, send some hate mail, send it there. That's where it is. <laughs> it is really cool to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you and we'll so see much. you at the best of the city. Yes, you and I are going you. to be uh, emceeing the event. So. All right. I look, I look forward to that. Yeah. Watching you guys. Yeah. That in itself will be funny. So. Yeah, that's right. <laughs>